A cement wall wasn't enough to keep this pair of pups apart. I watch this brown dog climb over the wall of the shelter so she could hang out with her buddy in the next kennel over. They came, came in at the same time and now they're inseparable. Minneapolis Animal Control says uh, is hoping that these dogs leave together as well. As Kirsten Mitchell reports, they're far from the only ones in need of a forever home. Me and another employee were walking through the kennels and we walked by and we had to like triple take like what's going on because two pitties came to the front of a kennel to greet us and we were like, what? Security camera footage cracked the case. We knew that they had to be together. Brenda climbed her way over the wall to join her pal Linda. We rewatched the video that we have and I about died. I was like, this is truly magnificent. The pair came in as strays to Minneapolis Animal Care and Control two weeks ago, where the shelter has been near capacity. <laughs> While they say adoptions are down and surrenders are up 20% from 2022, which was a record setting year. I would say the majority of our cases are due to housing. Um, so either people moving away, moving into places that don't allow specific breeds. We're seeing people experience homelessness that didn't before and are just in hard times. <laughs> Surrenders aren't the biggest challenge at the Animal Humane Society. It's a shortage of vet techs. Uh, we probably have about two thirds of our vet tech staffing compared to what we had pre pandemic for the same number of buildings, which means we can't help the same number of animals. Large dog adoptions have slowed some too, part of a trend seen nationwide. We all heard of the COVID dog, COVID puppy. And potentially, if everyone who was thinking of adopting a dog in the next few years got them at the beginning of COVID, you're going to see those adoption numbers spike, and you got to see them drop before they level out again. At MAC, there's no fee for adopting dogs seven months or older. We know it's not going to be easy to find them placement together, but we would love it if we could. So consider Linda and Brenda a package deal. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. All adoption fees are going to be waived this weekend at the Minneapolis Animal Care and Control Shelter.